How's it going everybody? Topher Welsh here from VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. I got a cool looking AE quick tip for you guys today. What we're going to be doing is changing the source text parameter within one text layer to create this nice looking spinning transition with only using one layer instead of a different layer for each set of words. So let's jump right into this. Let's go in here. You see my comp right here. Let's go new comp. 10 seconds, 1280 by 720. Let's change it. Call it changing source text. Let's add a easy little background here. New solid. You can also hit Control Y for new solid. Name this background. We're going to get our text tool. Bring it in right here, and we'll say source text. Position this a little better. Let's change the anchor point to more in the middle right here. You can hit Y to change your anchor point to get the uh, pan behind tool. So let's set this up really quick. We're going to make this a 3D layer. We're going to pull up, hit R for rotation, go to one second, hit keyframe for Y rotation, go to two seconds, and we're actually going to set this for four full rotations. So you see we got this nice rotation right here. Okay, we're going to go to three seconds, we have another keyframe for Y, but we're also going to have another keyframe for X. Then we're going to go to four seconds, and then on the X parameter, we're going to hit four rotations there. We're going to go to five seconds. And this is just basically setting up our basic spins. So first thing it's going to do is it's going to spin to the left four times. It's going to hold. It's going to spin down four times and then it's going to hold. And then we're going to hit another keyframe for X. Move to six seconds. Hit another keyframe for Y. And move to seven seconds. And we're going to make it spin onto the right now. And let's make it go back by setting it back to zero. So you're gonna see it's gonna to spin to the right. And then it's gonna hold. So, really simple right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess with the source text parameters. I'm gonna go here in the middle, and you see we're gonna find a frame just like that. And if you turn on motion blur for the comp and then motion blur for the layer, you can see this is a nice blurry layer that you can kind of change the text in without the viewer really you know noticing that much so we're gonna go bring this back up and then come down here to text roll down text hit a keyframe for source text and you'll notice that it actually makes a hold keyframe which is good that way it doesn't have to like blend the text together we're gonna hit page down to go one more frame over and we're actually gonna change our source text let's double click our layer and then we'll it's going to say source text and then it'll say can change. Hit enter on the number pad to confirm and there we go. So here it says source text, this one says can change. We're going to move down here, go to the next one. This is where it starts spinning again. We can go about right there, that looks like a good layer right, or a good frame. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go right here. I'm gonna hit another keyframe for source text. Move page down for the next frame. And then we're gonna change this. Double click source text right here. Can change with a few. Enter on the number pad. So it says source text can change with a few see and then it's going to stop hold and right here oops I have two holds right here let's actually move these two and you can marquee these two and pull them over just like that there we go and right here in the middle I find a nice transition frame I like that one right there so Let's hit a keyframe for source text. 
Got the keyframe for source text. Move page down for one more frame. And then we're going to double click source text. So with a few, then we're going to say simple keyframes. Enter on your number bed to confirm. And it's going to finish spinning and then end with simple keyframes. Let's create, oh, we don't need to make another keyframe, but we're just going to hit N on our keyboard to shorten our work area. And then you can double click up here and hit trim comp to work area or you can go to composition, trim comp to work area. I like just using this because it's, you know, a few inches less I have to move my mouse because I'm lazy. So trim comp to work area. And there we go. We got our source text on here. And let's actually stylize this just a little bit to make it a little prettier. Uh, let's do perspective bevel alpha. Let's bump this to like 10. Whoa, way too much. Let's go 5. There we go. That looks good. Let's do effect perspective drop shadow. How about distance 10, softness 20. There we go. Nice soft drop shadow. And then let's take our background layer. Let's just add a ramp effect. So generate ramp. We're going to make this a radial ramp. Grab the color. I like dark blues. I don't know why. Looks pretty good. Then we'll take our next one. End color. How about like... Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm digging that. That's a little too blue. Let's go a little darker blue. There we go. So there you go. There we have it. We got our source text. One text layer is changing into basically four different text layers. Just with a few simple keyframes. A lot of people don't know about this, but now you know. Tell your friends. Tell your family. They're probably going to think you're a nerd, but oh well. So I will be back next week with another AE quick tip. Until then, check out the articles. Leave me some comments. If you guys want me to demonstrate how to do something that you might not know, leave me a comment or shoot me an email. Uh, make sure you check out visualfxtuts.com, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya!